Good morning friends and welcome to the channel. Today I will do a test ride with the BMW C400 GT and of course I will give you my opinion about this BMW Maxi Scooter. Before I do my test ride I will of course give you an overview about the technical specs of this bike. The engine of the BMW is a 350cc, it's not a 400. It gives you 34 horsepower and 35 newton meters of torque. At the front we have double disc brakes and the calipers are from J. Juan. The lights front and rear of course are LED. These are the daytime running lights. They are an extra that you can order. But the visibility of the lights is very good. Also the turn signals all LED. Same on the back. Full LED. This version has a digital dashboard. This is also an extra that you can order. So this one is fully equipped and the dashboard is really nice. Gives you a lot of information. Visibility is good even in bright sunlight. This version also has heated seat and heated grips, which is very comfortable when it's getting colder outside. This C400 GT already has some extras on it. Another windscreen, it's a taller and wider one. Some crash guards to protect the plastic and on the back side the big original luggage rack. The gas tank of the BMW is here in the center in the middle, has a capacity of 12.8 liters and the fuel consumption is 3.6 liters so you get a real good range between let's say 340 and 370 kilometers. The seating position on the BMW is very comfortable especially for taller riders like me. I'm 1 meter 88. You have a very nice backrest here Gives you a little bit protection. Of course, you cannot change very much in the length, but it's quite wide, so seat is comfortable. It's not very soft, it's more on the stiff side. But what is really good is the position of your legs, because of course you can sit like on a normal scooter, very comfortable. Then you can put it, of course, a little bit to the front. And if you want to do a little bit cruiser style and you are in long distance riding, you can really push it to the front. And this gives you a very comfortable angle of your legs. So many different positions for your feet. You can of course also put it a little bit like this. And this makes riding very comfortable on the BMW. I will tell you a little bit about the suspension while I'm riding. But the seating comfort position for the legs, top notch, very good, very comfortable, very relaxed, especially for long distance riding. Of course, a scooter has to have some storage room. There are two compartments here at the front. Both of them are lockable. Of course, the BMW has a keyless system. Very soft opening. I have my sunglasses in here. Water resistant. There's some rubber here. This is the left side. On the right side, you have a USB port here and a 12 volt socket in the back. So you can charge your smartphone in here, very practical, and it's locked. The under seat storage is here. It's not as big as on other scooters like the Honda Forza or the Yamaha X-Max 300. In this storage you can place an open face helmet here at the front and here a small bag. And when you are standing you have this flex case, you can open it push it down, then you can place a full face helmet inside, but only when you are standing you cannot ride like this. So if you want to ride the scooter you have to take the helmet off, close it again and then you can start riding. There are other scooters on the market where this helmet compartment is much bigger and you can put two full face helmet under the seat. This is not possible with the BMW. Okay, so let's go and see how it is to ride the BMW C400 GT. Let's do some handling tests first. The C400 GT is quite heavy, weight is 215 kilos. So definitely more than the competitors. But how does it handle? Hmm? quite easy so maneuverability 
even if it's quite heavy, it's fine. Turning circle is small. Very small. Look at this. That's good. Very cool. So even at lower speeds, there's no problem with the weight at all. So handling, no problem whatsoever. Feels very light. Also in steering. Center of gravity is of course very low. Easy to handle, even if it's very heavy. But the ergonomics are fine and so handling, thumbs up. So on straight roads, of course, no problem at all. There's a long wheelbase, so the BMW is very stable. The BMW gives you a good feeling, you feel very safe. Everything is very solid. Handling is really good. So on country roads like this, very solid, easy to handle. And the push you get with the 34 horsepower is absolutely enough. And I was doing a long tour to Italy two weeks ago and even two up and luggage no problem at all very good to handle and enough power even in the mountains so let's do an acceleration test yeah absolutely okay of course it's 215 kilos weight And even at higher speeds, if you pull the throttle, there's enough reserve to give you a push. And the brakes, let's do a brake test. Wow. The brakes are really good. Especially the front, the double disc brake of J. Juan. Very nice. And you see, absolute perfect in the handling cornering twisties absolutely stable perfect handling so I didn't expect the BMW to be this good in handling because of the weight but its handling is easy very easy seating comfort very good yeah you can position your legs to the front and it's a little bit like a cruiser lean back into the backrest gives you a very good feeling very relaxed if you sit straight it's like on every scooter overall the seating position is one big benefit of this scooter especially for taller riders yeah here's a good way to test the suspension how it handles Yeah, the bumps are getting in your back, so it's not the best suspension. It's a bit on the stiff side. But most scooters are not that super comfortable because the whole engine and the CVT is swinging with the suspension. So there's much more weight. Yeah. If I compare it with the X80V, of course, the X80V has a much better suspension. It's okay. Not super comfy. I can feel a lot of the bumps getting through to my back. Perfect. Super stable, easy to handle in the curves. So handling wise, the BMW is really nice. A pleasure to ride gives you a very safe feeling very good brakes yeah the sound of the exhaust just open my visor it's quite good for a scooter 
The exhaust sound is nice. Gives a little bit of grumble in it. One thing that I noticed was a noise in the back, which always appears when I'm riding with 5200 RPM. There it is. It's like a metallic rattling noise. I think it comes from the right back suspension. It's terrible on a scooter for close to 10,000 euros that something is snaring at the back when you go with 5,200 RPMs. There it is again. Brrr, some terrible noise. Especially on my tour to Italy, it was wow, disgusting. So, and I'm not the only one. A lot of people told me they have the same noises at 5,200 RPM, vibrations, so I will bring the scooter back to the workshop of BMW and they have to check it because of course it's still guarantee on the scooter. So what are my impressions of the BMW? I think it's a very good scooter. Quality wise, most of the things are really good. Only thing that I mentioned before, suspension in the back, this uh, rattling metallic noise under seat storage, not that perfect. There are other scooters who do this better. The dashboard, very good, but it's an extra. Heated seat, heated grips, very good, but it's an extra. Daytime running light, also very nice. I like the look, but it's an extra. So if you buy the BMW, I think you have to take the extras because if you take the basic one, with a nether look, speedometer and uh, no heated grips. And if you compare it then for the basic price to the Honda Forza, which has an electrical screen and, and the Yamaha X-Max 300 with a new digital dash, then it's quite pricey. So now we get to the big question. Is the BMW C400 GT worth the let's say between 9,500 and 9,800 euros with all the extras. If you compare it to the competitors in the 350 range, and I would say no, because especially now there's another scooter on the market. It's the, the Vogue, the Vogue SR4 Max 350. It's built also in China at Longchine, a big motorcycle company in China. They are building the BMW and they have a known company, the Vogue Motorcycles. And they are bringing a scooter on the market in Germany now. And it's the same like this one. Same engine, they have a little bit less power. So it's only 28 or 29 horsepower. But it's the same engine, same chassis, same wheels, same exhaust. They also have a digital dash and they have everything standard. So they have a digital dash, they have a daytime running light, they have a dash cam in front. They have a parking brake, which the BMW doesn't have. The Vogue has a bigger under seat storage. You can put a full face helmet inside. So a lot of things, okay, he has no heated grips and no heated seat. So many features the BMW also has and a very good dashboard and the connectivity all that kind of stuff. Nearly the same scooter, just the look is different. And the price is 6,399 euros. So what is my conclusion about the BMW C400 GT? I think it's a very good scooter. I like the design, the look. It has some good features, nice display, perfect handling, good brakes, enough power. But in my opinion, compared with the competitors, it's too expensive because there's a huge gap between this one and the Honda Forza 350, Yamaha X-Max 300, uh, ADV 350, uh, the Vogue SR4 Max 350 and Kimco and Sim. 
there's nearly a price difference of 3,000 euro and I think this is too much. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and if you didn't do it already, please subscribe to the channel. It would be really appreciated. And if you are riding, please ride safe. I see you in the next video. Take care and cheers.